It has been announced that Ryan Fitzmagic will be the starter again for week five. And whenever we talked to Kyle Van Noy a couple weeks ago after a Thursday night success run against the Jacksonville Jaguars, uh, Kyle Van Noy said, it's not about Tua. It's, oh, oh Fitzmagic, Fitzmagic, you know. And so that made me believe that in the building, they're talking as if this is Fitzmagic's team, and they all kind of understand that. And if you talk to Michael Lombardi, I believe Michael Lombardi said, like, when are you going to wait to find out if Tua's got it or not? Air Bear, got it. Joey Burrow, got it. The third of the top five picks there would be Tua, who was initially going to be the number one overall, and then a hip injury potentially dropped him below. And also Joe Burrow having a magical season, Joe Burrow. So now the question is, when is the right time to put Tua in? I believe week 10 or week 11, they have the Jets. Maybe it's even after a bye week. Week What's that, Diggs? So they have the Jets, then the bye week, and then the Jets, and then the Bengals. So that feels like the proper time to maybe put a guy in. I mean, who knows at what point the Jets are going to complain mail it in or may, you know what maybe the Jets turn around and they rattle might, off yeah. 12 straight <laughs> I mean we never know and then if they also have the Bengals that'll be a battle with Joe Burrow which I think a lot of people would want to see obviously uh, so maybe you wait until then uh, Brian Flores came out and said that he's trying to view it as if how he would want his son to be treated coming mm-hmm. off of that injury when do you put him back in when do you keep him on, how long do you keep him on the sideline it's a very interesting dynamic because everybody like the Jets okay the Jets are not a great football team their defense could play like an NFL team one. Like, mm-hmm. They're filled with great players. You never know what's going to happen. So two is going to get dropped into the deep end at some point. And Ryan Fitzmagic is the head of that squad. It's been very obvious from the players and from the coaches. But it feels like that week 11, week 12, week 13, is that feels like the right time. If you're looking from outside in to maybe try a brand new quarterback who just came off of a nasty hip injury, who has not taken a lot of hits, who has not had a preseason game, who has not done much of anything, that feels like the right time. And if you don't expect to win the AFC East, which I don't think the Dolphins do, why are you blowing your future plans instead of waiting a couple more weeks to let us see if he can figure it out? Is that Gumpy? You're a big Dolphins fan. Is that kind of the news around the Dolphins fan base? Yeah, a lot of people are pushing for Tua, but I mean, cool the Jets. At the start of the year, everyone was fine with him sitting the whole year for Fitzmagic. Yeah. Now we lose to the Seahawks. Like, we weren't going to beat the Seahawks anyways. So you think the Dolphins are a fan base that uh, was potentially uh, being a bit fickle? Is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah. Fickle. That's a good word. Exactly. All right. Fickle. Canadian Gumpy, <laughs> which we have been told is very very intelligent obviously yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. obviously oh yeah if you had to guess what fickle meant what would you what would you guess that meant gumpy uh feathers ruffled easily mm, i mean kind of I think context clues, fickle yeah. means changes basically yeah, yeah changing your wishy views, washy yeah, kind of wishy washy regards yeah. one's pr- loyalty probably don't interests want to bingo so it's exactly like I'm, I'm fickle if it helps Diggs is a fickle there human being yeah. and, and a lot of people are fickle by the way a lot of fan bases are fickle yeah. mm-hmm. and it, it doesn't surprise me that the dolphins fan base is fickle when it comes to the two a thing but i think if you're, you're not starting them at the beginning of the season because you're looking out for them so then if you drop him in week five, when you could drop him in week 11 against a, a much lesser opponent and with five more weeks of potential preparation and watching Ryan Fitzmagic, the amount of things he could still learn, I don't know, that just feels like a, uh, a common response from a fan base, but I don't think that's the right response. It seems like if you go to a, with the two games against the Jets and then the Bengals, so you get three easier opponents, and then you have the uh, Chiefs, Patriots, and Bills to uh, round out the season. You know, you get to see them against a couple harder teams, too. Oh, yeah. Do you really oh, want to put Tua in against the Jets where their D coordinators calling bounties on quarterbacks' heads? <laughs> Very true. I mean, what are we I thinking? I didn't eat twice, by the way. Tua, yeah. Tua's out for the next eight years if you put him in against Greg good Willis. Call. Good I call. didn't even think about that. Maybe put him in now and then bench him in week 11. Bingo. Yeah. If, and they, then if they lose week. to the Niners, they do have the Broncos after that. He what? could play that game. What are you uh, saying about the Broncos? Whoa, what are you saying about the Broncos? Whoa, what are you trying to say? Not a great team right now. Tony. Oh, wow. Oh, shots at men.